So what's up people and welcome to the Mission 71 discussion of Spy Family. So Mission 71 came out yesterday and as always I will leave a link to this mission that's currently being shown on the publisher's official website Manga Plus for free to the North American audience. So if you're interested, yeah I will go take a look at it before they pull this mission back. Okay so Mission 71, I really really enjoyed Mission 71. And it really brings out the understanding of just how unique a writer Tatsuya Endo is. Now, if you recall in Mission 70, we were going through the kidnapping of the students in the school bus. And at the end of that mission, we saw the escalation of the story when Anya threw a note out the window of the bus telling the situation that they were in. And because of that, she gets caught. And Billy Squire puts a explosive collar onto her. And so the mission ends with a tremendous amount of tension. And what we find out in Mission 71 is that that note eventually does get to the Black Bells. And because of that, the Ostanian secret police learns about the situation. And at this time, we find out exactly what's going on with the Ostanian secret police. Their priorities are to make sure that the public doesn't realize the country is in peril and so they want to cover this up as much as possible and they want to take down the threat as quickly as possible. Which doesn't particularly fare well with the students because it doesn't seem like their lives are really high priority to the secret police. They just want to shut this down and cover it up as quickly as possible. Now what we do find in Mission 71 is that Yuri does find out about this. And as always with Yuri, he gets conflicted because he doesn't particularly care for Lloyd's daughter. But he understands that this is also someone Yor cares for. And eventually, despite the fact that his superiors are telling him to back off because his cover will be blown if he appears in front of Anya, he realizes what the consequences will be if Anya gets hurt or killed. So it seems like he decides to go out on his own. I got a feeling that Yuri is going to appear sometime later in the story. Now, of course, since the original information went through the Black Bells, we finally get to see Daddy Black Bell. <laughs> and as we expected, he is really upset over the situation and immediately wants to destroy the Red Circus. But we find out a few things during this conversation. We find out that the butler's name is Martha. And she is the one that finally calms him down. And considering the fact that she is also the one that has military experience, according to a comment by Lloyd in a previous chapter, it's interesting to see that she's saying that she's the one that will be going to the location of the threat. I got a feeling that Tatsuya Endo made her have military experience for a reason. And this may be the time where she actually shows her skills. So this will be interesting to see. But with all that said, we go back to the bus. And we see Anya in tremendous amounts of peril because she now knows that her life is in danger. This bomb is attached to her and she could die at an instant, any time. And so she's freaking out over this and she's in disbelief saying, I can't imagine this happening. This can't be real. And this is when we do see just how, again, unique a writer Tatsuya Endo is. <laughs> because he goes immediately from the tension which you expect to see continue to escalate, go back to the comedy. <laughs> As Billy Squire mentions that it is not real. He doesn't mention it, he actually thinks about it, but of course for Anya, he might as well have blurted it out himself. And so now Anya realizes that her life is not in danger, and she is the only student on the bus who now understands the situation better. Now this does put a light onto Billy Squire. As much as they seem to be a revolutionary extremist group, he doesn't seem to be a cold-blooded killer. If he was, he would have put a real bomb onto Anya and not cared about it. So he does seem to have a limit. And it is interesting then to see what's going on with regards to the situation. Because 
considering the Astania secret police have said that they're going to shut them down with whatever cost it takes, I'm now starting to worry more about the Astania secret police threatening the lives of the students rather than the Red Circus. Now, Billy Squire does say that if these fake bombs don't work in keeping the students under control, then he does have one last option. And we don't know what that last option is. Although I got a feeling that I don't think it involves violence and a threat to the children's lives. This particular act seemed to show that Billy Squire is not willing to go that direction. Of course, we can never tell. Maybe out of sure despair, he would actually go beyond his limits. But It'll be interesting to find out. You know that he's going to eventually bring that last resort out because Tatsi Ayando bothered to put that into the dialogue. But, <laughs> yeah, with all the knowledge that Anya has now over the other children, this chapter becomes absolutely hilarious because everybody else is freaking out and yet Anya is like, oh, okay, I guess I could relax and... <laughs> Take it easy now. And there are some hilarious moments in this chapter because, of course, it is Anya that we're talking about. And she realizes that all these other children are now kind of looking up to her because of her courage in being able to stay calm under this extreme tense situation considering she's the one that's carrying the bomb. <laughs> so she's thinking that maybe this is a good time to be able to gain respect from Damien. <laughs> and the thing she does during that time made me laugh so hard. <laughs> the, Tatsuya Endo really has a wonderful way of being able to take the humor to the maximum under certain situations. And Anya is a wonderful vehicle for him to do so. Now, in the meantime, we also get another character glimpse into Damien because Damien decides to go up to the terrorists and ask them to switch the bomb from Anya to him. And because Anya can read Damien's mind, we understand why. This isn't really just because he is trying to defend Anya. He is realizing that this is a perilous situation. He is a Desmond and he needs to do something about it. His bloodline has always been in politics, and many of his ancestors, including his father, have done some very difficult things throughout their life. And so he is feeling like this is a challenge that he has to step up to if he is to live up to the Desmond name. So you, you learn something about Damien. First of all, he's an extremely courageous person. But second of all, he really, really does care about the Desmond family lineage. And so he will not embarrass his family line by being a coward, and he will do whatever he can to live up to the name. And Anya, of course, reading his mind, becomes extremely impressed by Damien. Now, this doesn't work out the way Damien expected, because instead of taking Anya's bomb and putting it on him, Billy Squire just brings out another fake bomb and puts it on him. And so now he's freaked out because it didn't help Anya out. There are now two bombs on the school bus and he is attached to one of them. So now with his life on the line, as much as he wanted to do this for the sake of the Desmond family and as much as he has courage, he is freaking out over the fact that he might get killed. It is so stressing him out that he almost breaks down with regards to this. And it is at that time that you finally see, finally, Anya, what you're doing may actually work in bringing Damien closer to you in that Anya actually supports him and tells him that everything will be okay. And to help him understand, she does whisper to him that the bombs are fake. And at that point, terror becomes embarrassment for Damien. <laughs> he pulls back and says, of course I knew that, and kind of sits down. Although he's not really sure if Anya is correct with regards to the bombs being fake. But in any case, this of course continues to raise everybody's respect of Anya because she is courageous throughout the situation. She hasn't told anybody else that the bombs are fake. And so Becky's like, you really are a courageous person. 
and this elates Anya so much that she beats her chest and goes, you can count on me. But of course, beating her chest means that she's hitting the bomb. And that freaks out everybody, including Damien, because I don't think Damien completely believes that Anya really knows what's going on. <laughs> and at that point, there is a huge explosion sound in the bus. And everybody freaks out and blames Anya for it because they think that she finally triggered her bomb. But it turns out to be tire spikes that actually blow out the tires in the school bus. And you see the Stanyan police closing in on the school bus, which of course elates Anya and the group. But once again, knowing that the original dialogue by the Stanyan secret police mentioned that they were going to take out the terrorists with no care for the cost that happens, this may turn out to be a problem for the children because they may turn out to be a greater threat to their lives than the terrorists. And since we do know that Billy Squire does have that last resort, he probably will use it and that may escalate the situation even further. We also know that eventually Yuri has to appear. Martha will probably come out. So the story is probably going to continue. We haven't seen Lloyd or Yor yet. And somewhere along the way, I got a feeling they may come out. But in any case, it'll be interesting to see how the children will fare as the Estonian secret police close in because they may actually make the situation worse than better. It'll be interesting to see how this continues in chapter 72. And once it comes out, I'll bring out another video. I hope you join me at that time. But this is the chapter 71 discussion of Spy Family. If you read it, what you think about it, your comments will be greatly appreciated. And until the next episode, happy manga reading. And as always, Jai and I stay everyone.